Hey folks, welcome back to the Edewall Chainsaw Museum. Today we got chainsaw number 14. I forgot for a minute. And it's a McCulloch Mac 15. This is one of my all time favorite chainsaws. You think of the classic vintage chainsaw. This is it. This the styling of them. Everything's great on them. They look good. And in their day, they're pretty good. Right. This one's not in that bad shape. I don't know if that's in the color bar, but that's about what would have come on it. Uh, still got the Mac 15. Still got that curl with spark plug hole. Off up here. Momentary off. I just push it in and that kills it. So. Fuel on the left. Oil on the right. Still got the instructions. And manual oiler. Buttons broke on this one, but I got another one of these. And it's got the button on it. I'll probably swap it out. And air filters. Everyone. Get it. If anybody knows where to find these old air filters. Everybody used about the same kind of thing. You got an old pole in there to it. I know they take the same thing. Yeah, so here it's got a till it's they all do. Go on left, eye on the right, idle on the top. That fuel line, I just put that on there. I don't have that molded line. Let's look at open the on this side. Yeah. I love these Mac 15s. They just look good to me. This one's got that little cover over the clutch. I saw some of these that people will polish that. Muffler, they'll polish this. They'll polish that. And Polish the gas and oil. Polish the carb. And maybe I'll do that with my other one. My spare one. This one's too original for that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave it alone. Right. Let's see. Will it start? It's not set right, but you ever known any of my saws to have the carbs set right? Well, they ever crank them, so no, they never run just right. They all need to be tuned a little bit. This one's no different. All right, there we have it, folks. 
Song number 14. One of all time favorites. McCulloch, Mac 15. Thanks for watching.